Hey guys, it's Paulo Haddad here and in this video I'm gonna show you how we can get the voltage results using the export menu. So before I, we start the video, I'd like to ask you if you are liking this content, please leave your comment in the section below, uh, give your thumbs up. If you are new in my channel, please uh, subscribe and, and, and hit the bell button so you'll be not, not notified as soon as I upload any new video. Uh, with that said, let's go to the computer. Uh, in the last video, I showed you uh, and explained how uh, those voltage results files work. And now I'm gonna show you the export menu. So under the export menu, you can go to voltage and here we have three options, buses, sequence and element. So if you go to buses, well, as you can see, nothing appears different from what we are doing with the, the show menu that a TST file just popped up for us. Here's is not here. So what happened actually? You, you see that OpenSS is telling me here that this file, which is a CSV file, has been saved in this location. Well, which is this location? This location you can see, see OpenDSS Basics 13 bus is basically uh, the location where I have my master, right? Remember that we are using this circuit and this is my master, right? That we are using. But you can see that OpenDSS is actually, if you look here, is pointing to that directory. So sometimes you are simulating and you're seeing the results and you can't find those in the directories because the OpenSS is not pointing to the, the same directory you were expecting. So to correct that sometimes you can go here in your uh, main window, right click, and then you can go to change to this directory. And when we do that, OpenSS will correct here and point to the, the right path. Uh, so. One thing though, we could open this guy by clicking here and then you can uh, hit control key R and OpenSS will open the CSV file as a, a TST, whatever. But I don't like to see that. I prefer opening that in my Excel. Uh, let's see if I have Excel here on this computer actually. Um, let's open it. Let's see if it's gonna bother me. Yeah, but I think we can see things well something. Oh, it's not that. Sorry, guys. Let's come back here. Let, let me do that again. Sorry, uh, voltage, buses, export. OK, so let's go there and then I'm going to go to data of modification date, which is this one. This is the one I want to open. OK, I'm sorry. Just all right. Uh, this is the file. What we have here, guys, we have and the first column, the name of the buses. And then we have the phasers, magnitude and angle for the first node and per unit as well. And for the second node, we have the magnitude and angle and per unit and as well as for the third node, okay? Very interesting here. What is interesting is that OpenSS calls here node to one but actually what it puts here under this column is the first node available for your bus. For instance, we have here one bus that is a single phase bus and the node that it has is number three. As you can see, you're gonna have under node one, a number three, and then the phaser. And the following ones are zero, 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 zero. Okay, other example. OpenSS has a bus 684, which is two phase, and the nodes it has is one and three, right? So OpenSS will put one under node one and three under node two and node three zero. So bear in mind that node one, two, and three doesn't really mean, mean one, node one, two, and three the real numbers we have defined in OpenSS. Um, so 
very interesting right keep that in mind always check here the the numbers that are here are actually the ones that really means what we 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 have in OpenDSS as node one two and three uh interesting okay we can close that very interesting this file uh we can read in python that would be lovely and get all the buses vo voltage phasers phaser voltage for for all the buses um back to OpenSS export voltage sequence again let's go to my folder new file just appeared let's open it so again let me close that it's bothering me here but anyway so what we have here in this file we have results very similar to what we get using voltage line neutral so let me open both actually side by side you can see that here we have the voltage uh, uh, the, the name of the bus is very similar we have v1 per unit base kv here in this case in the other here we don't have we have v2 duration v0 duration we have v residual and uh, 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 kind of constant here that is defined by um, standard whatever um, anyway so they are very similar the only difference here is that those voltage are in volts here is uh, those voltage are in kilovolts and here guys very interesting we have for uh, the buses that are not three phase for instance look at those two guys when you look at this file we have positive positive component voltage which is kind of it's not a three phase bus how could we define it anyway so OpenSS took a voltage and, 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 and defined it here anyway and but 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 when we look at this file OpenDSS does not do that for v1 OpenDSS sets zero so this is a difference between the files that uh, it's important to notice if you are using for some reason this number in your program right if you are looking um, you're developing something in Python and you're reading those things so just keep in mind it's very important um, another thing that we have in this file that we don't have in this is the P rigid residual voltage residual is basically uh, the uh, algebraic algebraic sum of the phase voltages which is VA plus VB plus VC and if you remember from your power system course VA plus VB plus VC is equal to 3 times V0 okay so if you get like your V0 here and multiply by 3 you get those guys uh, actually if you see those two buses we don't we don't have v0 but probably OpenSS is some you know is it's it's doing v v a v b v c and getting those numbers here anyway uh so that's something we have here and we don't know we don't have here this three v0 is very important for a short circuit uh especially single phase short circuit um calculation so i'm not gonna get into those details but you know just keep in mind that it's interesting and it's here i'm gonna close those files and finally uh export voltage elements and again it's actually in my folder you, you see guys it's being you know uh, uh I, i'm saving a lot of results here from the export we also save from the show right you see TST are our, our, our files that the show menu provided so let's go to the last one voltage element so what we have here the first column shows us uh, the elements V source source transformer sub line the name load or okay then we have the number of terminals remember like transformers has two a transformer has two terminals the this line two terminals the load one terminal 
and then for each of the elements we have the conductors uh, when we have a gro Y grounded transformer it has four conductors so uh, for the others like lines three conductors and then we have a series of uh, phasers magnitude and phase angle for the first voltage second voltage third voltage fourth voltage uh, and so on so what we can see here is that we have we have the, the number of phasers we have here is basically the number of terminal times the number of conductors so in this case we have two terminals with three conductors so we have six phasers so this is for VA terminal 1, VB terminal 1, PC terminal 1. And then we have VA, I, I, I'm not going to show you uh, this words, it's a little bit strange, we can discuss that later, let's go to a line for instance, simpler. So VA terminal 1, VB terminal 1, VC terminal 1. Then we have VA terminal 2, VB terminal 2, and VC terminal 2, right? And then for instance, a load, which is has just one terminal, this load, for instance, one terminal and two conductors. So we have uh, basically uh, one phaser and the other one is grounded for, for, for this case. This load, for instance, is one terminal, always one terminal, three conductors, uh, VA, VB, and VC right so this is what we see in this report remember guys that v1 angle one doesn't really mean that is related to node one it's actually the first available for that element okay it could be node two or node three uh, so that's what we have for this video i hope you are enjoying it don't forget to uh subscribe my channel Give me the thumbs up, hit the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload any new video. And guys, please leave me some comments, suggestions, what you are thinking. Um, that will be very helpful for you know uh, me to keep going uh, and actually being guided by you. So thanks so much for everything and I hope to see you in the next video.